Hi everybody, I'm Rick Elliott, technical writer on Data Studio. And I'm Mary Pishney, one of your Data Studio product managers. And we're here today to tell you about some uh, improvements we've made to the report editor, uh, specifically the properties panel that makes it uh, much more intuitive and easy for you to configure your uh, reports and components and charts. Awesome. So I like to show rather than tell, so we're going to go ahead and jump straight into a report uh, and start configuring. So you might notice by the title on this report that we're going to be looking at bike share station data uh, out of San Francisco, California, my home city. Um, so first things first, I want to actually visualize where these uh, stations are located in the city. So I'm going to go ahead and take a geo map and draw that onto the page. And then I'll talk you through how we can start configuring that. So if you're a Data Studio user, you might already no be noticing that the right-hand side, what we call your properties panel, looks a little different. Uh, now what we see here is on the left-hand side, everything about your component. So what dimensions and metrics are being displayed, uh, if you have any uh, filters applied to that particular component and so forth. And on the right-hand side, you can see a list of all available fields that you can use. So I've got my chart on the page and I uh, actually want to change it around a little bit. So the metric that it's showing is the dock count number. And what I actually want to do is uh, show the number of uh, distinct stations that we have in the city. Um, when I take a look at my available fields here though, I'll, I'll notice that I don't actually have a metric uh, for the number of stations or the count of stations. But one of the things that we can do now is actually uh, grab a field and drag a, a dimension and drop it into a metric uh, location. So for this one, I'm gonna take the station name and actually drop, drop, drag and drop that over to my metric area. And what it's gonna do is actually transform that to a count of the station. So if I click into it, I can see that I have the option of count or count distinct, uh, and I want count distinct, so that looks good. Now, I uh, want to switch the dimension that we're using here as well. I could look at uh, the fields on my right-hand side, but another trick that you can use is you can actually click into the middle of uh, the chip, as we call it, and see all of the eligible fields. This is helpful on something like a geo chart where it actually accepts a specific type of uh, data, in this case, uh, a geo uh, field. So I have landmarks selected right now, and I'm actually going to switch that over to latitude and longitude. Great, uh, so I've got that uh, set up. I wanna zoom that in a little bit because right now it's at a world view. So I'm gonna click onto that uh, world zoom area and I'm gonna use my search bar and type in California. Great, so now I've got my uh, geo map configured. I actually want a couple scorecards to tell me a little bit about the number of stations that I have uh, in this program. So I'm gonna go ahead and gra grab my scorecard, draw that onto the page. Uh, and what it's automatically displaying is the dock count. Uh, and again, I actually want the count of stations that we have. Uh, so since we don't have that set up as a metric, I'm going to do that uh, same transformation, which is dragging the station name over to the metric. And it's going to go ahead and transform that into a count distinct for me. Um, it's showing station name, though. So I'm actually going to rename that by clicking into it and saying number of stations. Great. Uh, now, I also want a uh, scorecard showing me the number of uh, docks uh, that are available in the city. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that on the page. Um, and that's already populating for me, so I've got the right metric showing. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is uh, go ahead and rename that so it's a little more, uh, easier to read. There we go. Okay. Okay. And then the last thing I want to show you all here is I want to draw a table onto the page uh, and I'm going to actually have the number of the station names and then the number um, of bike docks at each station. But the next question I'm, I have for myself is what percentage of uh, bike docks are broken down per station name. So we're going to do some configuring real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and take that station name, drag that over into my dimension, have that uh, update. I've already got dock count uh, set up here. Uh, and what I can now do is I can actually take the same metric and add it to the chart again. So I'm going to take doc count one more time, drop that in as a second metric, and I'm going to transform that to the percent of total. So I do that by going ahead and clicking on that chip again. And we'll see here at the bottom we have our analytical functions. I'm going to click there and go ahead and say percent of total. Just to make that a little easier to read, I'm going to go ahead and rename it as well. Wonderful. So let's take a look at our quick report. 
Great, so we've got number of stations, uh, number of uh, bike docks that are available, a map, and a, a quick look at the um, bike docks per station, uh, all in about two minutes flat, Rick. Mary, this is very cool. Uh, I hope that uh, you folks uh, appreciate the um, power of these uh, improvements. And um, if you do have any feedback, you can visit the Help Center and uh, let us know what you think.